George Orwell has a quote at the age of 50, everyone has the face they deserve. <laughs> so this is probably just describes how your aspects of aging and even skin aging, biological aging, all of those things are dependent of the person's lifestyle. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the five things that speed up skin aging and decrease your skin collagen. Do it. Of course, with age, we all see a natural decrease in skin collagen, and it starts even at the age of 20. Starting at 20, you're going to see a decrease of your skin collagen by about 10% per decade. So there is nothing that you can really do about that because with age we uh, will experience different things that uh, decrease collagen production and impose more damage to our skin collagen. But uh, we're still able to kind of determine the speed of that. So number one is uh, oxidative stress. Oxidative stress directly damages collagen tissue in your skin. In the 21st century, we're exposed to a lot more oxidative stress from air pollution, heavy metals, persistent organic pollutants, pesticides, herbicides, glyphosate, etc. And these will also have a negative effect on your skin health and oxidative stress. But even if you live in a very clean environment, you're still exposed to higher amounts of oxidative stress from the sun because of damage to the ozone layer. So UV radiation from the sun is actually one of the most like natural and the, one of the biggest contributors to oxidative stress to your collagen and your skin overall. Over the past few decades, we're exposed to a lot more UV radiation from the sun because of the damage to the ozone layer. That excess UV radiation causes more damage and oxidative stress to the DNA and protein structure of your body. Some things that can help you to counteract that oxidative stress from any source is just having a proper, a strong antioxidant defense system activated in your body that includes uh, glutathione, superoxide dismutase, and other things. Even things like NMN and polyphenols from coffee have been shown to have a positive effect on the antioxidant defense status of your skin and reduces the oxidative stress. Number two is going to be advanced glycation end products or AGEs. Advanced glycation end products or AGEs are molecules created from sugar and proteins reacting inside the body. AGEs are involved in the formation of wrinkles and skin aging because they break down collagen that holds the skin firm. Glycation directly releases MMP1, matrix metalloproteinase 1, which is an enzyme that breaks down collagen. Excess UV radiation actually also increases MMP1, which uh, then decreases collagen. Glycated collagen accumulates in the skin and the cartilage as we age, and this accumulation dramatically increases after the age of 40. Probably the biggest contributor to the formation of advanced glycation end products is just eating food foods that have a very high glycemic index. So these big spikes and big rises in your blood sugar levels will have a bigger formation of the AGEs that then speeds up skin aging. So you would want to make sure that you have proper insulin sensitivity so that whenever you do raise your blood sugar levels, you would clear it faster and to also opt for foods that lower the blood sugar spike. So things like vegetables, proteins, as well as just eating lower glycemic index foods. Glycine is actually one of the best antidotes to AGE formation because it uh, lowers the blood sugar response from a meal by about 30%. Supplementing Glynac, Glycine and N-acetylcysteine at a dose of 100 milligrams per kilogram per day of both Glycine and NAC has been found to lower insulin resistance by 22% after just 14 days in type 2 diabetics. Carnosine and beta-alanine are another supplements that can also help to uh, reduce AGE formation and protect against them. Number three is going to be hyperglycemia or just high blood sugar levels slash diabetes. So this is just obviously going to contribute to AGE formation and having a higher blood sugar level you know, like a diabetic range, pre-diabetic range is constantly obviously damaging your vascular tissue and uh, blood vessels but also damages the uh, the uh, collagen structure in your skin. So the advice here is probably very similar that you just have to make sure that you have better insulin sensitivity and not eat foods that really spike your uh, blood sugar level too high. Number four is going to be low grade inflammation. So inflammation is, uh, you know, in different ways, many ways it can contribute to accelerated aging, especially skin aging as well. And obviously it just damages the collagen structures, but it also wears down your antioxidant defense systems. If your body is always having to deal and waste its antioxidant defense resources for the inflammation, then uh, obviously it doesn't have any other resources to deal with the exogenous oxidative stress that we are exposed to. Generally, the healthy lifestyle is a very good antidote to inflammation. You have to exercise regularly, sleep properly, avoid chronic stress, 
don't get exposed to yeah like unnecessary uh, sources of information and foods that have an inflammatory effect on your body and even things like saunas and ice baths and cold exposure can also lower the inflammation so there you have it these are the things that reduce your uh, skin collagen and speed up skin aging if you want to learn more about all aspects of collagen and uh, skin health then check out my new book with Dr. James and Nicola Antonia called The Collagen Cure. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.